Well, that's it, Chips. We are uh, on our way. Beautiful morning. It's supposed to be some wind this afternoon. This is the last dry land we're going to see probably for, I wouldn't say see, but uh, it's the last dry land we'll have stepped uh, we'll step on for the next while. All the gears ready. Dubai, Cape Grace, VNA. Just got to go and diesel up on the pontoon. And that's it. Finally, we are going. It's an amazing days with uh, Trevor Spillas and the guys from TNS uh, Riggings. Sorted out all our stuff, gave us some lessons up the mast. Yeah, we did a lot of stuff. Super, super glad we, we spent the time here because we're definitely in better shape now. Another bridge opening for us. Kayaks on the boat. Supposed to have uh, 20 to 30 knots by this evening on the outside. I mean, the shelter of the mountain out there, so I'm to. Yeah. Beautiful morning. Going down, it's the start of all new things for the next three months. Closing the bridge. This, is this little port, the fishing area. Having a little squawk. The commercial side of the harbour. Seagulls are noisier. Holy moly. Well, that's us on our way. That's our route, and the weather we're expecting is a fair bit of wind pushing us towards uh, Mount Vima. Should arrive there about two, almost two and a half days. Uh, so we'll see how, how it all pans out. Uh, leaving the chaos of Cape Town, you can see all the AIS marks and stuff. Uh, 12.8 degrees water. Put the lines in when we get to something a little bit more reasonable. Girls aren't feeling so lacquer, so it's a little deserted up here. But we're on our way. Yeah, we've got probably three days sailing we're gonna try and speed it up by putting the main up and get us there but earlier there's a little bit of a window probably day and a half two days which doesn't give us much time at Vima so yeah we're gonna to have to push it to get there as soon as possible now oh, that's us leaving Cape Town yeah setting sail for the in the wide ocean now. This is the beginning of the, the real adventure. All the tools ready. Jono saying his goodbyes. Oh, we've just put in a second reef. Expecting 20 knots later. Plus, when it's picked up now, we've got probably 12, 13, 14 knots so to pick up from the southeast. And, uh, Oh, we're sailing. Steam, so we've got a second reef in here. Windex is, is operating for now. Hopefully it stays like that. And yeah. We are got 13 apparent. 90 degrees. What is 13 degrees? And we're doing eight knots. 
Aditya in Bhima, 17th at midnight, 0120, depending on the speed we get. Should be, should be same wind direction the whole way, probably a little bit of a veer as it goes around, but it should stay the same. Oh, it's now 1.30, first day out of Cape Town. Got about, let's have a look. Got uh, 15 degrees Celsius water temperature coming up. 14, 15 degrees Fahrenheit. Yeah, doing eight knots. So in total, we've got 20, uh, 22 to 20, 22 to 25 knots on the gusts. Shunting along, doing 8.3. Not trying to go too fast on the first day. Uh, and, uh, Jib up and main on a second reef, cooking along. It's pretty chilly. Beanie on, socks. For it, standing up here. Oh. Overboard yet. It's sort of an unsettled sea, but sort of South Sea. Uh, this main doesn't look so lacquer with a reef in it, but yeah, it's doing the job. We've got the crease out of the out of the jib now, we've got it really nicely tensioned up. It looks a hell of a lot better. The new batten's in now as well. So yeah. Cooking along, Vima bound. Got our captain here just gonna play his tribute to Neptune. Just make sure that Thank you Neptune. Look after us. Oh, we've got up to 30 knots here now. It's now uh, quarter to three. Oh, a little bit of a breeze blowing now. We haven't fished at all, the water's gone purple. A lot of birds here. I'm sure there'll be a bit of fish around here. There's been a lot of long fin. A bit of yellow fin starting to come. Probably we can't fish. We're in a hurry to get to Vima for this weather window. So, yeah, it's a uh, little sacrifice. A bit of fishing now. These conditions aren't so lucky anyway. Got a, a preventer on the main here. Sail's falling out of the bag a little bit because it's on a second reef. Uh, flying along at 10 knots here. See this? See what this mic's like. Yeah, 9, 7, 10, 19 degree water. Dirk's easing into the the travel the travel mode here yeah, and his beanbag yeah. Getting, hang, getting the hang of it. Getting the hang of it, getting comfortable. <laughs> ah, she's absolutely flying along. Beautiful. No motors. First light. Oh, the first uh, first morning out. Seas uh, a little bit uh, upside down. We've had basically 25 to 40 knots the whole night. Been bloody miserable. We lost a uh, melon overboard. Our veggie uh, hammock came adrift. And uh, yeah, it's been less than pleasant, that's for sure. I don't know how much the show here, yeah, but it's been a really bumpy, very, very noisy. Yeah, and the weather window seems to have shut down for FEMA, so yeah, it's not good news this morning. The wind's still blowing. It's supposed to start to drop off by tonight. But yeah, the sea is very unsettled. Oh, we're still running on a third reef, and we're basically reefed all the way in on the, on the uh, jib. Been running sort of a two thirds jib the whole night. I uh, didn't want to change. It was too rough to put the storm sail up and pull everything down. And it's not uh, safe out there, so yeah, just had to deal with it through the night. Spilling wind, still doing nine, ten, twelve. 
when you still sustain 20 to 25 parent. So yeah, it's been a, a rough one. <laughs> Definitely not not a fun sale so far. Uh, I'm sure we've done close to uh, we've averaged over 10 knots for the night. So we'll have done close to 250 nautical miles for the 24 hours. So it's been good going, but but not fun. So I look a little bit worse for the wear. Two girls haven't been well. Derek hasn't been well. John's got gout in his uh, his one foot. Too much partying before we left. So I've basically got a, a purple boat at the moment. <laughs> Pretty much on my own. Ah <laughs> uh, well. The good the good thing about this is that it's that it's definitely gonna get more comfortable and get better as we go along. Sunrise on the first day of the big journey. Not an auspicious sunrise. Seas a bit jubble. I think we're gonna see the girls today. How much you can see out of the clears here. It doesn't look too bad out front, but yeah, it's a bit of a miserable sea. Just cleaned the deck and stuff down here. It's a bit of a mess. Looking a bit better. Lots of jobs to do. Still doing eight, nine knots. The wind's just dropped a bit now on sunrise. I'm sure it's gonna keep coming again. sitting on the back, of the back deck where a couple of waves come over and blue bottles almost as dangerous as that animal over there <laughs> the one horned lesser African unicorn aka the Tasmanian devil <laughs> Side on swell, which just gets the boat. Let it move you all a little bit. Sails are getting a bit tired, falling out of the out of the stack. We'll get that in when, it, when the wind drops. Drop, raise the whole main, and then and then drop it again. Now it's our weather at the moment. <coughs> you can see our our position. The you know, little dot next to the sailboat is. So we're actually keeping up with the polar. The polar is pretty accurate now. So predicted speed and our path and where we'll be is is is, is good because it's uh, it's keeping up with a with a predicted path so yeah winds dropping off a little bit now yeah, it's 12:43 that's now and you'll see where we're gonna go you can see our position left behind there you can see the wind dropping off yeah, it goes green there as we get there and blue that's Wednesday's weather you can see our position there here we are, about halfway to Mount Pima. That's our little secret destination that we're heading for, trying to go look for those massive, massive yellow tail. We are halfway between Cape Town and Mount Pima. It's quite a good day. The last few days have been quite challenging. 
I vomited for the first time in my life, twice. The sea was quite rough, we had about 55, 40 knots of wind. But this uh, boat is absolutely fantastic. Uh, next is offshore adventure yacht. Now join us next week as we arrive at Mount Vima. We have a chaotic day catching giant yellowtail. Spectacular days fishing. Be sure to subscribe and be part of our journey and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.